Hey guys, it's me, Skilly19, and welcome back to Let's Play Populous The Beginning. Uh, when we last left off, we're going to take on level 12, an easy target. Now, I think... Yay! For the first time, we must face all three enemy tribes. I must prepare for a mighty struggle. Now, as much as you might think that this might be a really difficult level because we face all three, this is actually one of my favorite levels, just because it's like... As you can see, the Chumara here are like right in the middle of the map. So they are cornered, like they're surrounded by the the Matak, me, and the Matak, the Dakini, and by us. So they usually tend to get crushed first. Like if you just leave it, then the the map usually tends, the, the Matak and the Dakini usually tend to crush the Chumara quite quickly. And then it usually just ends up being you versus the Matak and the Dakini. So you don't really have to worry about, really have to worry about the fighting all three tribes all that much because they kind of kill each other anyway. So, and then if you lower the hill that protects the uh, the Dakini and the Matak or like create a land bridge or whatever between the two, then they will actually fight with each other. They like won't, they won't bother trying to fight you. They'll actually like try and start fighting with the with the other tribes and trying to destroy each other so you can actually make them fight each other instead of fighting you which makes it like 10 times easier because then you don't actually have to do anything you just have to wait till they weaken each other and then just sneak in and kill them both the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing okay so we're gonna want to start getting our village set up by capturing some wild men as usual over here we have we have quite a quite a little nice little island to ourselves to to build up and get our village going so it's not like we're gonna run out of space anytime soon or we shouldn't anyway wow you guys build that tower fast you build it quicker than those guys were building those huts jeez okay now the usual way is the Chumara will try and cast a, a land bridge between here and your base here so that you will so that they can like walk across and start fighting with you but what we're gonna do is be nasty and steal these wild men here and start fights hee <laughs> hee destroy those towers already all right and you three can build this you can go help with that and we can start charging the land bridge spell. Now, like I said, the Chumara will try and cast a, a land bridge across here. The Dakini will try and create boats and swing around here. And the Matak will take boats and swing around the back here. Oh, we're fighting with people. Ooh, more wild men. Steal them. Go, go, go. So we're going to need to pretty much put towers pretty much all over our base if we want to uh, stop them getting in and destroying us. So I usually put a tower here and then I have those two towers there that help guard the, uh, the front entrance to the base. Uh, what's going on over here? Um, do you want to, uh, help them out? Maybe? Possibly? Sweet. Alright, go wreck that boathouse. Oh, that's so dirty doing that. Right at the beginning, they're already being attacked by, like, a horde of braves that I just stole. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Okay. Now, for the shaman, what I do is I cast, like, I stand her as close to the hill as possible because then that won't shrink the hill and you cast this uh the land bridge spell up on the hill and then you can create a tower here and you'll have like a range over the entire chumara village so you can really like start throwing random lightning spells at her and weaken her which is probably how the matak and the dakini actually destroy her so easily because i'm like messing with her and i'm screwing her up and not letting her get a proper village set up but meh okay go stand up there uh, can we capture any more wild men? I don't think we can. No, we can't. I think I'm going to lose all my braves right here. Or not, or not. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Come on. 
Oh, and she shot a fireball at me. That's nasty. Cruel and or unnecessary. Uh, okay. See, they're upgrading those buildings already. Okay, and on this map, we have two new spells. I think we, we learn them both for keeps in this map. But, more importantly, we have a new building, which we get from the Chumara, which is this building here. So that means we're going to get another follower as well. And the new spell we get to keep is the Tornado spell. So we have a really, really nice spell for destroying buildings over here, which means the Dakini has it. So she's going to be a pain to come over and cast that. And then we have the Erode spell, which sinks lands, as you know from the... Um, mission that the Matak Shaman decided to keep trying to sink our base. Turd that she is. Any problem with this thing being such a steep hill? It takes forever for these idiots to get up the hill. Hey, I said get in that house. Go build house. Upgrade. Now, go. Uh, two people, two people, two people. Uh, okay. Steal you. And you can get in that house. And you three can get in. And you can get in. Ah! Okay, what does this say? What does this say? Does it still say? Yeah. But... Like the reason I really like this this um this level, not only do you have to face the first all three tribes for the first time, but it, it's just such a nice level. Like the way you're you're um sitting on your own little island, you're left alone to do whatever you want, and the other three tribes kill each other for, like it's not like they're all they're all like pouncing on you and you're having to like slowly like defend yourself and not be crippled by all three tribes at once because, and going. Um, and I think the Chumara were trying to attack the greens right there. Because I just saw the yellow shaman die. That's what I like about this level. Like, the, the tribes will just start fighting with each other for, like, no apparent reason. They'll just start fighting, causing fights, starting to kill each other. It's really kind of weird. But, eh, helps us. Oh, sweet, we have a five hot already. Yay. Alright, you guys are done. Stop, 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 stop. Go help build that. And you. Is that full? Huh, it is. Yay, another five hot. Awesome. The only problem with this island that you have, you run out of trees really, really fast. So, that's the one problem I have is with this island is, I mean, it's good because it's secluded and it's away from everyone else and you can, like, the longer you're on this world, the bigger of a threat you become. But, like, it's really difficult to try and build, like, a fire warrior training hut that requires so many pieces of wood and then there's, like, a very small amount of trees so you have to sit and wait. Which drags the level out longer than needs be, but what can you do? Um, okay. Uh, seeing as you're just, uh, standing there, go help. Yuraka. No idea what that means. Bureaucrat. Something like that. In. Ah, you, girl. This is the new followers that we get from that building. Spies. See, he looks like our follower, but no, he was secretly a yellow spy. Now, spies, like, what they do is they can sneak over, they camouflage themselves in, like, boats that look like yours. Eh, coincidentally, we could actually use that to our advantage. Now, what they do is they... They, they're like saboteurs. They come over, they like sneak into your to your base, and they, they blow stuff up, they burn buildings. I mean, they're not good in fights at all by any stretch of the imagination, but they do like, 
you can you use them for like sabotage missions you run them over and burn enemy buildings things like that it tends not to work with the ai because the ai just like know where all your stuff is Kai. usually or i find it doesn't work for me anyway like i can send over like a spy and he can sneak into the back of the enemy base and they just magically know that he's a spy immediately as soon as he gets within range of their base but in multiplayer i guess they'd be quite good because you could sneak in and you could sneak in and uh burn your your opponent's buildings but that would be kind of cheap and dirty but meh he who dares wins right uh build a bow house there we're gonna need to repair this friggin' hut, um, tower, seeing as these jerks decided to burn them. Aw, oh, don't tell me you're stuck. You idiot. Alright, whatever, you can stay there. Ah! And I'm not deconning that friggin' building just because you're stupid and got stuck. Darn it. I hate it when Braves do that. They're like, oh, let's go out here. Ha ha. Oh, we got stuck. Whoops. Okay. That's that fixed. Uh, you can build another house. And the shaman can get the fooge back over into her tower. Now, the spy building is small. The spy training hall only takes, like, I think it's four spaces? What do you mean you can't get over there? Ow. Ow. Damn you! Wasn't paying attention. Okay, yeah, as you can see, like, the, the spy hut is really, really small. Only takes up, like, four, three, four spaces. It's really small. But let us put a tower here and a tower here. Just so I can have, like, the, the corners of my base covered so that no one comes over and kills me. Hello, Shaman. Welcome back. Get in your tower and start raining death and destruction upon those... Um, unsuspecting Chumaras. There we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We're gonna want to build another tower here. Right about here. That should do... Ooh, sweet. Now, I usually put my uh, my training kind of stuff here, like I put my warrior training hub, my tra my temple, that kind of thing down there, because the Dakini come that way, and they are gonna like they're gonna be our strongest opponents. I always find that the Dakini are always my strongest opponents. That they are always the ones that I always have to just like take the biggest time over and try and destroy them last. And I want to decon that. Yes, I know, I know, destroy it. Now, that little button that I just hit there was the deconstruction, which means instead of building whatever I told them to build there, they're going to take it down. You can do that for pretty much any building you have. And the reason you might want to do that is because, like, as you saw, I couldn't fit this hut in here because I accidentally placed it one space too close. So, it helps you helps you fit fit all your buildings into, like, a into a tight space. That's what she said. hi yo. What do you want? Hey, 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 hey. No. No. Die. And lightning. 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 And kill the shaman. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I love this level just because you can torture the Chumaras so much. But I think that's going to be enough for today. So I'm Skinly19, and when we come back, we will actually probably start attacking someone if I can get this village built and defended in time. See you.